Hey guys, so for my first painting of 2021, I decided to use a color palette inspired by Sarah Taylor, who has been working so hard at learning how the paints react and how to do puddle pours and all kinds of stuff. She has um, a lot of uh, interest in how I used to work and I just find it so amazing. You can check out her channel, Sarah Taylor. She uses a lot of um, earthy colors, which <laughs> beige is not a color I usually use. I hadn't done this technique since, well, since I fell upon it and worked towards it maybe, I don't know, a year ago or so. And I did something different this time. I Put some white not only under but on top and I'm also working with different mixes to see how they react and I also did a line through before like you see this black sort of crack which is a metallic color I put a line through before moving it now the darker beige that you see it's all metallic. Let me see if I can get it. There, you can see, like, or it shimmers, the difference between the lighter beige. It's so cool and crazy how this style of painting reacts so much. And I put it already on top of a frame just for the video because it's so light and the contrast with the, um, the white background, <laughs> it looked weird. Okay, stay tuned for the dried result. I'm back with the final result. It is varnished. And it did change a lot in time. The black part in the middle here, it came back to the top. And I painted on top of it with a paintbrush. I tried to bring it back to life. I find it's still pretty, but the middle part here was so much prettier before. But the rest is pretty much the same. I added some metallic paint for fun to fill in here. I don't know, I'm really into the painting on top to bring it back to life type of uh, mode recently. Once it's dried, either I use a Sharpie or I go in with my paintbrush. The paint brands that I use, they react so much and it got me thinking, it would be so cool if I would be able to film the drying process. That eight or 10 hours, like super fast forwarded so that you guys could see also the change from when, I, when we see it wet Till when the, the paint like comes back up afterwards I don't know that would be very cool maybe one day I'll be able to sit up my camera for 10 hours <laughs> all right um, shutting up now hope you guys like this it's super cool I find it's very different and fascinating and I'm definitely trying this again maybe not in beige check out Sarah Taylor modern art she does um, a lot of very cool paintings in these tones. Bye guys, have a good one.